So this whole workout compromises. 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 What up guys, it's the Fighting Therapist here. And for today's video, I got you guys a resistance training workout that's based off my four day training split that I started before COVID-19 started. So before we jump into the video guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. And if you did enjoy the video, when it's done, or you could just do it now. Give it a like, I'm giving free content. I'm trying to help you guys out. The more likes I get, the more people get to see the video. So it helps me, which helps you, because I make more and then you get more. So, you know, work together. So for this workout plan, I pretty used things that I had myself. If some of you have it, you can do exactly what I did in this workout. If not, you could just modify it to let it work with you. And I'll make some recommendations throughout this video. Before COVID-19 started, I was following a strength protocol for at least about four to six weeks. That's what I was trying to do. So it involved squat, bench, uh, deadlift, sumo deadlift, particularly split lunges, uh, overhead press, stuff like that. And now since COVID-19 started, I'm not really able to do the weights because I don't have any barbells at home. So I modified the same plan because I'm still following it. I just modified some of the exercises that were the main lifts like squat and bench, and then just replicated it or transitioned into another exercise that would allow me to only get roughly five reps in and it was still as difficult and I still felt that the intensity was the same as if I was doing it with a barbell. So the workout consists of four circuits, each ranging from three to four sets and the reps ranging from either a two I, uh, RIR, reps in reserve or a RPE of eight or nine for intensity and reps will either dictate if it was a strength based exercise it would be anywhere between five to eight reps depending on how hard i could have made it and then for all other exercises depending on the day i'm doing either 10 reps 15 reps or 30 plus reps so the first circuit we're doing four times so you start off with trx assisted single leg squats for five reps with a two to three second eccentric at the bottom and then a one second pause and then we explode up now we're really trying to focus on the eccentric here single leg is a harder version of a squat so because i wanted to do squats you're doing single leg squats you're going to be doing them on both sides since i'm still having a little bit of issues with my stability on my right leg i use the trx for assistance so i'm trying not to pull it as much as possible i'm really just trying to go down and focus on the movement next is going to be the trx cable incline fly we're doing this for 15 reps two to three second eccentric, pause at the bottom for one to two seconds, come up and we wanna cross the arms across. A lot of people when they're doing flies, they really just allow both the wrists to touch each other. Yet, don't forget the chest guys does do horizontal adduction. So we need to cross that midline of the chest. If not, you're not, you're not getting the bang for your buck for the exercise. So with the TRX, I'm able to come up, squeeze and cross my arms as much as possible. The next one, you can, you can either choose, depending on what you want to do, you can either just do a normal one arm banded row with an elastic. So I wanted to go from low to high, so I'm really able to pull on my lat more since I'm trying to focus on building the lower portion of my lats to get that like that V shape. Or you can make it an explosive exercise, go into a lunge position. As you explode up, we row as hard as we can. So you guys can pick either or you want. If you want it to be more explosive, do that. If you want it to make it more strength based, just do a normal one on row. Now, for some reason, I don't have this video, but for that circuit, you're gonna finish off with eccentric dragonflies. So pretty much, you're gonna grab the back of a couch, a door, a frame, anything that's very sturdy. You're gonna bring your legs up into a full leg raise where most of the weight is on your scaps and your upper shoulder. And you're gonna slowly let your legs go down without letting your low back touch the floor, but also contracting your low back so we don't have an arch. We're keeping that frame. Just like a, let's say a hollow hold, right? Just that exercise. That's how I want your back to be nice and tight. And you're gonna slowly go down. Of course, start with just your knees bent then work your way up to one knee straight, uh, one leg straight, one knee bent, and then work your way to double legs all the way down eccentric. You pick the level that you're at. The next circuit we're doing for four sets, it's a heavy lat raise. Now I don't have dumbbells, but I do have a band. And since the band, we're able to get a peak contraction and peak tension when the elastic is 
maximal length. I'm able to come up, hold that for one to two seconds, then eccentrically come down for five, and we're going for eight reps on each side. Then we're doing glute extensions. Now I'm huge and I'm 6'6", six, six, and I still fit on this couch. I didn't put an elastic. You guys can if you want in between your legs to force um, abduction and all you're gonna work on is keeping that low back tight and really squeezing the glutes up I find that when I come up I like to do roughly a two to three second hold really feel those glutes contract and then come back down slowly next exercise is gonna be a hamstring curl now guys this is a great exercise for stability for function for keeping the low back straight for getting the glutes involved and then really focusing the curl on the hamstring it's a hard exercise if you can't do it with a TRX just do normal towel slides on the floor. And if you can't do that as well, if you can get an elastic or something, put it around your ankle and do a standing hamstring curl. Now to finish that circuit off for core, you're going into a Pavlov hold, and then you're gonna hold that for roughly 15 to 30 seconds. You guys pick the intensity that you want. And then after that, you're going into 12 wood chop rotations. Again, you're gonna replicate this for both sides. Next circuit, we're doing four times the IRI of two, so reps in reserves of two, right? So I wanna make sure you guys have two left. We're doing body weight bicep curls on the TRX. I believe when I did this exercise, it gave me roughly 15 or 16 reps, I felt. I really focused on the eccentric here. So here I'm going for maybe five to six seconds, which also took me almost a minute and a half. So I'm also well, a minute and something, right? Five to six seconds for 14. And that's so the time under tension is really implementing here. So I'm getting a lot of metabolic stress, plus really focusing on that eccentric. So I'm really trying to tear the muscle fibers to later grow and get bigger. Next one's call crushes on TRX, same thing, RIR. Here, I'm only doing three sets though. Even though the whole circuit is four, I'm only doing this one for three. And then when you guys go through it a fourth time, you just take that exercise out. I find even though you're inside being isolated and you're not in the gym, when you overwork your triceps, they do suffer. And especially when it comes to your other lifts like bench or overhead press, um, you're gonna suffer a lot because the triceps do play a big part in the contraction of it. So try not to hit your tricep as much. I usually stick to roughly like eight to 10, or I say mostly 10 now, um, sets total for the end of the week. Then you're gonna come down, you do a banded shrug with the elastic with holds. So this is a ladder drill approach. So pretty much you're gonna do one rep. At that rep, you're gonna hold for one second. Next one is two reps, hold for two seconds. Three reps, hold for three, four, five, and you work your way up to 10. I usually stop at around eight or nine because it's burning like crazy. So. All right, last circuit to finish off. This is going to be three sets of RIR of two. So still two reps in reserve. We're going for calf raise. You can either do single leg or double leg, depending on the intensity that you want and how hard you want to push yourself. If single leg is still too hard for you, you can only get five or six reps in, don't do that. Do double leg and work your way up. Uh, focus on the eccentric here. Again, we can't load them as heavy unless you do have a backpack or something that you can put on your back to make it harder. I didn't, so I just did single leg eccentric for five to six seconds and I did about 10 on each leg and then I finished off with a finisher of double leg calf raise until failure. Next is TRX face pulls, one of the best exercises you could do guys. You're getting the posterior chain working and the musculature that we don't really use that often because we're in that slumped forward position. We're also getting external rotation in the shoulder, again, because we're also in that forward position and we're using our body weight. So this is a pretty hard exercise. Um, great exercise to do and great to put at pretty much every finisher of any exercise or workout you are doing, especially for fighters, wrestlers, jiu-jitsu athletes, or hockey athletes, we're in that shrugged position it's a great exercise for everyone, guys. So utilize it, add it in. Just because it's in this workout, put in all your other ones as well. Then this is a fighter-specific exercise, but it's gonna help a lot of people since as we age and as we start moving, we tend to lose stability and strength in our wrists, especially at the joints of radial and ulnar deviation. So these two exercises are meant for radial and ulnar deviation. I do it specifically because I fractured this hand and I fractured the other hand due to lack of strength and instability and also due to overuse, right? I was punching nonstop training camps. You're going, you're going, you're going, and it's hard to do the rehab because every day you're doing two to three sessions of just punching, bag, work, sparring, and plus the weightlifting on the wrist. It takes a toll and I fractured it. I injured myself, so now I'm spending a lot of time due to this COVID-19 working on my wrist strength and stability. And that's it. That's pretty much the version of my day one, what I would have done in the gym, but what I do at home. I'm going to be coming out with day two, day three, day four. So you guys are pretty much gonna have 
a really simple workout plan that you guys can do. I will post up down below the actual workout that I was doing that I would have done in the gym. And then I'm gonna also post the version that I did at home that I just showed you guys. So you guys, when COVID's 19 and you want a workout plan, you could do, you could utilize that workout plan for you. So you could go do in the gym a little later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. There's gonna be a lot more to come, a lot more mobility and stretching and strength and exercise for your scaps, for your neck, for your shoulders, for everything, for your TVA, for your abs. So I got a lot coming. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did stay throughout the whole video, drop it a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you're gonna give this a try. And if you already did try it, let me know how it was. I love hearing you guys' feedback, so it helps me help you. And yeah, have a great day. It's your boy, that's exact punch, headbutt, elbow, knee.